Okay. Ramanandri. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Good morning, everyone. Today we are leaving Jaffna and we are heading over to Sri Lanka's east coast. We're off to Trincomalee. We've come to the bus stand in town. And yeah, we're going to take the local bus, the government bus, the big red bus. So we just need to ask a few chaps and find it. This one? Oh, Trincomalee, there we go, that's it. Bloody hell. Could it have been any easier? I think this is the one. Barakam. Who is the bus man? Who is the boss man? Who is it? Trinko. Okay, okay. Nine o'clock. Okay, super. Cheers, sir. What is the price to Trinko? What is the price? How much to Trinko? Uh, how much? Uh, 900. 900. Okay, cheers, sir. Only. 100. Okay. One person, 900. Okay. Oh. So here we go, everyone. First time on the long distance government bus. Check it out. It looks like a fire engine. Nah, it's pretty cool, though. It's retro, isn't it? at least here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it's like. It's gonna be a hot one. Today it's fucking scorching, I tell you. It's hot. Oh shit. So here we go. Excuse me. Sorry mate. It's a tight one, I tell you. Three to the row on the left and then two on the right. Gosh. Yeah? So where's the bags in the corner? I see if we can. That will settle in, and then we'll show you the bus. Morning, sir. Can I come? What is this camera? Just a little camera. Live. Yeah, live. Okay. Not live. YouTube video. <laughs> I'm just getting a drink for the bus. It's so hot today. I'm gonna get a Nexo. Sri Lankan classic, yeah. Nexo. Only in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, Sri Lanka. Production Sri Lanka. Production Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yes. It's very good though, isn't it? How much is this, sir? 170 rupees. Okay. I've only got a thousand, is that alright? Hey, the buses are loud, aren't they, coming in? I've just found this in the fridge, this my berry. Happened. This is good, this is Sri Lanka cricket. Yeah, okay. Sri Lankan drink as well. <laughs> okay. okay, how much is this one, sir? 150. Okay. Okay, so good, oh, mate, a thousand. 150, is that like 50p less? My berry, what's this? Official carbonated beverage partner of Sri Lanka cricket. Look at that, proper Sri Lankan gear right there. Oh, the change, okay. Ramananji, thank you so much. Okay. Right, Let's go. Nice little fizzy drink. Cold drink for the bus because honestly, at least she's sat on the bus. I can't sit on the bus because it's so hot. Absolutely melting. Should we have a look at the waiting room, eh? If you like us and you come too early, you can sit in here in the nice cold waiting room. Look at this. It's nice and cool in here. If you do want to sit in here, it's all right. Our mate's reading the paper over there. It's like he's engrossed in that, that news story. Flipping hell, it's like a sauna in here and all. Sri Lanka's a sauna in March, April. Yeah, look at that for a big bottle of fizzy pop. It's our bus, yeah. Fresco, 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 fresco. Special delivery of my berry. What's that? Looks all right though, doesn't it? It looks dark. It looks unhealthy. It looks like it'll stay in your mouth. Let's get back onto the sauna express. Here we go, everyone. The flipping sweat box. Go on, leash. <laughs> Look at how tight these seats are. Check this out, everyone. It is a real sweat box, but it is what it is. Oh, I've just noticed. We've picked the seat with the little thing down there. It doesn't really matter, but no, it's all right. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's gonna be one sweaty ride. I'm gonna get off there. I can have a shower. At least we got the window though, so we can um, stick our heads out as we go through the Sri Lankan countryside. Oof. Gosh! Get my head. Should we try the my berry? Dark, doesn't it? Look at that, it looks like you spilled that on your top. It's never coming out. That's it. 
me first, you go first. Oh, it tastes like pimpito. Really? Yeah. It tastes like nectar? Yeah. It tastes better. Better? Cheaper than nectar. A little nectar is 170, this is 150. Hey, no mate, always looking for a bargain. It tastes the same as nectar. It's more sugary, I think. Yeah, so it's better. Drink on this. Green tone and half that. It's 900 each for the four, five hour drive to drink all my Not too bad that, it's like two pounds. And I've just screwed up the ticket like an idiot, I always do that. So let's not do that, let's give it leash to look after. I'll tell you what, it's proper tight when you look. You've got no space. But it is what it is. It's alright. 250 kilometres. So yeah, there's the bus. When we get going it'll be fine because it'll be a breeze, but just right now I was sat here in the fucking sweltering heat. It's not good. Man's got on the bus and he's selling gold necklaces. Don't know about the quality of them, but he's selling them. It's funny, isn't it? Like for me, who's ever got on the local bus and thought, you know what, I could break through with a gold necklace? He's got a good sales pitch, though. Hello. Hello, how are you? So, what are these? Just realised it, obviously not gold, is it? It's obviously like a cheap little necklace. They're quite nice though, I'll win across them. A thousand. A thousand. One thousand. One thousand. This is okay. The cross one. This one's a good one, he's saying. Orange man's on as well. Do you need it? <laughs> he's a good salesman though, he's got some little bracelets as well. Everyone's getting them. Everyone's on them. He's getting about four sales. Maybe you should just get one then, for the crack. It's 2,000. It's 2 pounds summer, 2 pounds 20. Oh, it's got a nice little clasp as well. Should I? Is it silly Billy? Let's do it. It's a fun trip. My first local bus on the Shulman Express. This man's medicine. <laughs> hey, I like this one. He's a good salesman. Everyone is actually buying them. Go on, sir. Roman Andrew. Okay. Okay, super. Best of luck, sir. Holy, show us what you got. Show us the gear. A little cross. Look at that. I think it's quite cute. A little gold chain. The guy was actually really nice. Hey, well let's let's support him. Busting on these buses. And everyone was buying them. But they were sold about eight, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's hot commodities. <laughs> Alright everyone. We are off. Bloody hell, look at this. We're gonna get my egg cut off. Bang on time. Nine o'clock. Spot on. Does it get more punctual than that? This lady has got one in front and she's encroached on the window space. She's she's taking it all off me. Gosh. I'm left with this little slither. It is what it is. Right, en route to Trinco. Four or five hours. Now we've got a nice breeze coming through. It's fine. It's nice, it's nice. So here we go. It's already quite busy, I can imagine. On the journey, this bus is going to get heaving with people in the aisle, but it is what it is. Let's travel however the local people travel, best way in it. You don't need the fancy aircon bus or the fucking first class train. It's alright. Yeah, you can't get that on first class, can you? So, get it in bin. Is this how you wear it? to the 
mad driving, the flipping wacky races. Nothing really phases us anymore, we've been enough. <laughs> These countries with bad roads, but the buses are fast. Half this journey will be on the other side of the road, maybe over half. Sleeping and waking up, super hot and sweaty, like dripping in sweat. It's really easy to sleep, it's quite smooth. My hat's got more. Now, before we set off, we grab some snacks from a local bakery in Jaffna. And they sell these things. Now, this looks super simple, it's just like a tea cake, but with this really good cream. I don't know what it is, what is it inside here? It's butter cream. It tastes like a butter cream, yeah, really good. Yeah, we just stopped in a little town or a little junction and the bus is heaving with sellers. All kinds of pineapple nuts. I was fast asleep then and they'll walk me up. Hello sir, how much is the pineapple? Huh? How much? 200. Do I have that? Oh, what's this? A little bit of salt, chilli salt. Thank you. Cheers. So I've just gone from being asleep straight into buying a bag of pineapple and a bit of chilli salt on. Should we get some? Yeah, it smells well. Ooh. Oh, it smells weird with the salt on. Oh. My piece wasn't sweet in the slightest. How was yours? Yeah, if it tastes a bit strange with that stuff on. It's like that crunchy bits of salt in it or something. What do you think? I'm not impressed. I mean, if the pineapple itself was like super juicy and sweet, and chili salt would be nice to it, because it's not. There's no flavours balancing out there. Such an, that was a good review of that. Uh, I mean, it's alright still, it's like an alright, but it's just not doing it for me. Like. No sweetness off it at all. How much one bag? Okay, why not? So, go on, go on, why not? You got a 50 change. Thank you. Alright, good salesman. Good salesman. I'll say that. You didn't really have to do any selling. <laughs> oh, I think it was the chili salt. Is he gone? Excuse me, mate. Can we get some of the salt, please? This one? Yeah, go on. Salt and chili, yeah. Needs it. What the hell he's going in on that? Oh, is he not coming out? Oh, not coming out? Cheers. I should try it on its own anyway. Put your teeth on them still. I've got to say guava. Seated. Careful. How is it with the chilli on these? Much better. Actually tastes like some milk. It's quite clean, isn't it? Mm. Not juicy. Yes, yeah. You definitely need to actually tell I've got to say, you have to be yeah. careful with them stones though. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. did just nearly snap a two. We're just buying stuff out of boredom here. Yeah. We're actually stopped and everyone's got off the bus and got stuff from a bakery. Somewhere over there. But, we can't be asked. I feel like I'm melting. I'm like, I'm just going to open this pot in a while. Right, thank God, we're off again. When the bus is parked, it's literally a sauna on here, honestly. Good buses, you've got to love them, haven't you? They're the private ones, I think. 
colourful ones. Then these red ones are the government ones. The way around. Right. Look at that plastic being whizzed out window. Right, mate. Don't do that, people. Don't do it. Everyone's launching bottles out window. You can see them lying in the side of the street. Don't do it. Your country's absolutely beautiful. Don't f it up. As you're driving about, we also stop at these tiny little bus stops. And then some people are selling bits and bobs. I'll make down there, I think you're selling some peanuts. And warm water, by the looks of it. Don't fancy a warm bottle of water, though. But yeah. This bus just stops anywhere and anywhere. You can get on or off anywhere you want. So this, for me, is why taking the bus or the train in these countries is the best. Because if you're flying around, you're taking private transport, you don't get to see much. You don't get to see how things are in the smaller towns or the countryside and whatever. All right, mate. Look at that. Don't get big fat waves off Kotu, man, do you? It's like a prison here, sticking out, out with them. But yeah, as you're just cruising by, you're stopping everywhere, you know. I just like it. It's a proper little town, this. Hey, look, big bus stop. What's everyone doing here? Oh, oh. I've got quite a few eyes on me, yeah? Just that every single person in the bus stop staring at me. It's this one, isn't it? Can we get a wave off anyone? Let's see. No, we can't. We can't get a wave off anyone. Can you believe it? Oh gosh. He's got to do what he's got to do, hasn't he? A lot of vendors have just got on. It's pissing it down again. But we've smelt corn. Strong smell of corn on the bus, so we're going to see if we can get one. It's 100. We're getting one of our mates. Corn's out Let me just show you the weather while we're here. Oh, go on, corn's here. Oh, cheers. Oh, that's fresh, that's piping hot, ladies. I'm going to get something else as well. There's a guy in hand, he's got these little vegetable fried snacks. Go on, get him, get him. So just let me show you the weather. Oh! See that? Absolutely miserable. What's this? Show us what's in there. What is this? Oh, it's in like a Japanese newspaper. Oh god, what are they? I'm having one of them. Mm. Oh. Dry chili. Oh, that's good. That tastes so good. Mm. Well done. Oh no. Solemn. Oh, one more. Yeah. Mm. Those chilies are unbelievable. So tasty. Mm. So we've just pulled in to a little car park. I don't really know what for, but here we are. You can hear a nice bird. Let's try the corn we've got. It does smell really good. Like as soon as the man got on the bus, I knew there were corn on the bus. So here we go. It's piping up. Well, it's just a simple corn. There's no butter or anything on it. Or anything, nothing at all. Just pure corn. And for that, it's quite good. Imagine it with butter on though. Could be good, wouldn't it? A bit of salty butter. Mmm. Mmm. Corn just on its own, like, it's good. 
Is that hard? Mm. Is that I don't know what type of corn it is, but I quite like I quite like the firm kernels. Got a nice bite to them. Corn ID shirt. <laughs> what are we doing? Look, we're just sat here in this car park. Reviewing a corn. Reviewing a corn. Giving you a deep analysis. Let me see. Anything going out there? No. Quite green though, isn't it? Maybe boss man's got off for a wee. Hey, maybe he needs to do it. Oh, maybe he's got a bit of diarrhea, a bit of the trots. Caused a public nuisance for 45 minutes. Driver had enough, driver snapped. He pulled the bus over and he said, That's enough. He had a row, he got kicked off, he's been ejected. I mean, we were all thinking it, everyone was thinking, Piss off, mate. Hey, look at the view. Look at that. He was causing a ruckus. We should have stopped ages ago and had a vote. And if over 50% people wanted to kick him off. Because he literally got nothing of it anymore. I think literally he was just nothing. off his absolute rocket. Hey, it would have been pretty boring though, wouldn't it, if you didn't have people like that knocking around, so whatever. I think we should have the VIP bus. We do every other time. You just want people to think it's a local traffic. Leash, I've told you hundreds of times now, it's all about pretending so people think we're interested. Five hours later, and we are here, Trincomalee, Eastern Sri Lanka. So we've got off at the bus stand in the centre of town. So what we're going to do is get some lunch because we're absolutely starving. Now we're going to head up to where we're staying on the beach area and show you where we're staying. I think it's going to be really nice. As you can see, it's still a miserable day, no sun. It's pants, but it is what it is. Go for some lunch, sir. So yeah, it seems like quite a sleepy town, to tell you the truth. It's quiet. Unlike Jaffna, where we've just come from, because in the centre it's busy. But you never know. It's a peaceful bus stand. So off we go. Thank God it's not raining. I know, that'd I be we miserable. I off the bus and it was going to be absolutely pouring down. I half that drive, it was just pissing it down out the window. Flipping hell, the tuk-tuks in Trincomalee are absolutely ruthless. He will not leave us alone, so we found a little spot here. Veg spot, veg restaurant, let's see how it is. What is it like? No one in. It's like 3 p.m. Do they even have any food at this time? I don't know. Let's see. Manaka, hello. Finish? Oh, okay. Finish. Okay, thank you. And we're straight back out. Food's finished. We've come at a proper like awkward time here. Oh. Mate, honestly, oh. this is the fourth time that I've told you we don't need a tuk-tuk, okay? Cheers though, thank you very much, okay? Now, how many times can I tell a man that we do not need a tuk-tuk before he keeps circling and stopping at us, like blocking us off from crossing the road and stuff? Doing me head in. So we've come across another little number veg restaurant 
Let's see, do they have any food left? It's not looking good. There's nothing in the trays. Oh, oh only half, okay. How, how much is one plate? 300. Okay, please come and get two. Yes, please, thank you. Right, everyone. We've procured some food. Should we sit over there near the window? So yeah, I don't know what we're getting, just a few mystery curries over rice. It should be alright. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's because we've been on bus all day. It's really hot and muggy and like sticky here. Yeah? It's mad. Thank you so much. Oh wow, that looks good. And the chilies as well. Chili. Try chili, yeah. These are my favourite, these. Hey, I'm very happy about this. Sri Lanka, you're doing it just right. It looks like it's got some salt on as well. So, one plate's come. Let's see what we've got. I like how he's given us the um, spoon and fork. That's quite cute. No, I'm joking. Thank you. So we've got... Thank you very much. Ooh, what have we got? Dal? Some type of... What, what do we have, sir? Yes? Potato. Potato. Is that aubergine, no? Okay. And this, what is this for? Eat it. Oh, okay. Cheers. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter because it looks good. So here are our dishes. Potato one. Looks very good. Oh, thank you very much. Great. Good stuff here. Some water as well. Cheers. So we've got some of these bad boys as well, the papada. Let's try the chilies. Get things kicked off with that. Oh yeah, salty like a crisp. Mm. Well done, covered in like good salt. All right, let's put camera on. And there she is, we are absolutely starving. Been looking forward to a proper meal all day. So, let's try the potato curry first. There's big, decent chunks of potato in there. And it looks really good. And yeah. That's very good. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm really choked on it. Oh, it's really good. You mix that in with the rice, yeah. That's a good curry, curried potato. And we'll just try the doll quickly. You can never go wrong with a good old doll. Pretty good. It's just simple as. What else have we got? What's this, Lish? Or one triple melon some sort. It's alright. I like this food because you just order a plate of rice and curry and you never know what you're gonna get. And then it just brings out like what four or five sides on the rice. It's like a nice surprise. Oh my gosh. And they're always really good, like the, the sides are always pretty good. Well spicy. Spicy? It's got like all the dried red chili. You're not Oh. <laughs> I have to try another bit. These, these are the, the kings. Oh, looks like all the seeds, you know what that means, don't you? Right. That is a decent lunch, that. The potato curry, though, is fantastic. You enjoying it? Yeah. Come here. This is really good. I like this, like, fresh, healthy food. It doesn't leave you feeling crap. That's the thing about it. We were walking around, we were nearly going to give up because everything was just a Muslim restaurant. We don't fancy like heavy, oily food, lots of people fresh. So here we are. We just got a little bit more of that potato curry because it's genuinely fantastic. It is really good, really flavourful. I've just got to tell you, outside there, our mate in the tuk tuk. First, he follows us around town. I tell him about 17 times we don't need. And he's now sat outside the restaurant. I'm pretty sure he's waiting for us to ask us again for the 18th time. Come on, mate, leave us be. Okay, come on, Andrew. The food is very good in here, very good. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Oh, we're locked in. You are closed now. Closed. Finished. Oh, we just got in. Five? Flipping hell. Early, early doors. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, so sir, 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 sir. 
We need you to give us the honest price. Right, okay. We are going three kilometre. Ah, uh, three kilometre. Yeah. Okay. Black Star Inn. Black Star Inn. And Black Star Inn. That's why I'm very tough. But how much? Please, can you give us an honest price? How much? How, how much? How much price? Five hundred. Uh, three kilometre. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's PHP. Just one way, yes. Uh, Five hundred. Oh. Okay. Well, top man. So yeah, I don't mind. Might, might, might have asked us 700 times and done our in a bit, but to be fair. Well, what are they? It is called Black Star. We will tell you, I will direct, okay? okay. So um, let's just get in here. Oh, sh oh I'm stuck. Uh, then going for temple? No, no temple, no, 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 hotel, hotel, don't worry. So, so fa 500. Okay. 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 I'll show you now. Okay. One second, sir. Oh, not that. That's not it, is it? Who is steady, man? Who is steady, man? Black Star M. What is the place? Is this Black Star Inn? JK JK Beach Resort. Oh, JK Beach Resort. Next to it. Black Star. Oh, JK. Oh, JK. 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 We will get pick me. No, no, no. Pick me is 500 and I gave you a chance. We will 500. 500 is the price. Pick me is 500. You want, do, you, do you want 500 or shall I get someone else? Okay, but it's 500 or, no, or nothing. If we get there and you say 1500, I will give you nothing. Okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry, sir. No, that's my fault. Okay, thanks, sir. Pardon. Oh, the hell. Trying to pull a cheeky one. It's like a, it's like a five-minute drive. You know what I mean? Like, usually, we just look at what the price is on the app. And then we usually pay a little bit more because, to be fair, I would rather pay people directly than use the apps. But then when people are dishonest, it just annoys you. But, well, here we go anyway. Character, eh? Bloody hell. The king of harassment. Gives us a price that ridiculous. Three kilometer. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay? Have a nice day. It's not that hotel, it's just down here. Bloody hell, how did we find? Well, it was a red flag when he was just following us around town. I thought, you know what, I'll give this guy the benefit of the doubt. We managed to find the biggest bell end in Trinco. Get in, 500 he agrees to it. I mean, our hotel told us it's like maximum 400. The app's 400, whatever. So I thought, all right, we'll just give him a little bit more, 500. Get in, he goes 1,500. I'm like, nah, mate. And then the whole way here, he's like effing and jeffing, like, oh, like just chatting crap. Don't appreciate that, mate. Come on, be honest. Be honest. First impression of the town, you meet some whopper. Right. So here's our hotel, Black Star Inn. We'll get in in a minute. What an absolute prick. And you know, you give me 500, he's there going like, oh, this is no money, I, well, I don't know what he wants. I can't get over that, we literally drove three kilometer down the road, there's no traffic, no cars on the road. It took about four minutes or something. And he still has the cheek to pull a blinder like that. With biggest swindler in town, isn't he? Flipping hell. Right, so our hotel looks like it's in an absolutely lovely location right on the beach. Look at this. Proper little fisherman beach. So we'll check in. Show you the room and then relax. It's been a hot sweaty one. Now then we've just checked in and this place is actually really nice. So I'm going to give you a little room tour. We'll start inside over here. So here we go. This is our room. Number one. As you can see, just a simple number. Two single beds, we've pushed them together so we can get the view. That's why these mosquito nets look a bit weird off to the side. Ceiling fan, 
no AC, but there's a nice sea breeze coming in, so it's all okay. Just a classy little bathroom with a squeegee. Hey, classic. Can't go wrong with one of them. How's the pressure? That'll do that. That'll do. That will do. So yeah, room's are um, just simple, but the best part about the room is this. Look, look at the view we've got from the bed. Ocean view, look at this. That is lovely, isn't it? Fantastic stuff. Now what else do we have? Out here? Fridge. Absolutely classic. Keep your drinks nice and cold. We've got a little cupboard with um, coffee, tea, even some banana bread in there. That looks good. Kettle, toaster. Look at all this um, space for chilling out though. Well good, innit? Now, the piste de resistance. Look at these little corner areas. We're pretty much on the beach. So you've got a lovely view, haven't you? Look at that. The sea today though, it's rough. Won't catch you swimming in that one, you'll get dragged out, you'll be gone. Ah, oh, but it's really nice. Super chill, so paying around 3,500 rupees a night, which is like nine pounds, so it's fantastic value. Owners are really nice. Hey, I've just seen over there, hotel with a swimming pool, that looks inviting. After today's long, sweaty travel there. So yeah, just in a, it's in a really nice garden area. We've got a little dog called Coco. Before we end this video, we'll show you her after. Maybe it's sunset. And yeah. So we were just sitting here chilling out, then Leash looked at this little gold necklace she bought on the bus, and she's seen it's been stamped 18 karat gold plated. How about that? If so, that is a top deal, £2.50 on the bus, on the local bus here in Sri Lanka. No wonder everyone was buying them. How does it look? Bloody bargain. I should have got one, shouldn't I? They were going like hotcakes. <laughs> I'll be pinching this, won't I? You'll see me wearing this in all the videos. <laughs> what a place to sit though, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, I still can't believe that geezer tried to swindle us. Can't believe it. 1,500 rupees. Does he know where we're from? From flipping Lancashire, mate. Don't, don't sail past us. Oh, and here she is, as I promised. Resident doggo, Coco. She's alright, isn't she? Are you alright? <laughs> we need to work on our friendship. We've only just met her, so. But she's all right, isn't she? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's quite she cute, actually. Hello. Right. So there she is. Okay. Shall we end this video now? I think we should, because we're not going to get a sunset. Judging by the looks of it, nah, no chance. So let's end this video here with a view behind us. But a right nice travel day today. Sri Lanka is super easy to travel around, it's a fantastic country, the buses go everywhere, they are dead affordable and it's just a good vibe, like it's hectic, it's hot, you know, but you can just hang out the window, watch the countryside go by, you've got all the food coming on the buses, you've got the gold chains, as, we, as we've seen we've got that gold chain, yeah it's just a good vibe, it's like good times here in Sri Lanka, so we'll leave you with this beautiful view, eh? There we go. See you in next then.